Welcome to another quick tutorial with your instructional technology specialist, Leslie Johnson. So today let's talk about full screen interactive Google Slides. This is an extension that is exactly what it sounds like. It helps your Google Slides go full screen. This is especially helpful if we are in a Google Meet because you can still edit and add text and move things and it improves the visibility for your students who might be using a Chromebook that has you know, a smaller screen than our laptops are. So let's take a look. Um, to get to the extension, you can go to the Chrome Web Store and just type in full screen interactive Google Slides, and there it is. Um, and then you'll get this extension installed that looks like this up here. So once you have that installed, you can do cool things like this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my extension and it's gonna make it go full screen. So sometimes it has um, the slides on the side, which you may or may not want, it's up to you. If I click escape to get out of this and click the extension again, this time it has the slides on the side. So it really depends how you would like to present that to your students. I kind of like it without the slides so that they don't think about Ooh, what's coming next, right? So you can create these kind of like drag and drop activities and you might say, bueno estudiantes, ¿Cuál es la manzana? And then you have your class coral respond, it's an apple. Okay, so I take the text and I drag it over to the apple. How do you say banana in Spanish? Platano. So then I can move this text over here. All right, whoops. But make sure that you have your text set to order bring to front. So then when I move platano, you can actually see it. Now to move between slides when I don't have that navigation on the side, you can use either the arrow keys or your mouse. You can scroll down and that's going to take you to the next slide. And again, I have a word bank, but it, I could essentially say, okay, what's the very first part in our plot diagram? Exposition. And if you are a good typer, which I'm apparently not today, you can type that in live. If you needed to add a slide to further explain a concept, you can do that too. And now it's almost like I have a whiteboard for my class and I haven't even left Google Slides. So that's basically all you need to know about using this extension. You click the extension, it goes full screen. You can navigate back and forth between your Google Meet as you need. If you have a dual monitor, it's probably even better because you can have the Google Slides on one screen, your Google Meet on another screen. But even if you don't have the double, uh, dual monitor system, it's still a great extension to use. Um, I do have some other ideas in yesterday's notes. You can tell your students about it. And then as they share their presentations, you can have them include a slide at the end that has some kind of interaction with their peers. Like I mentioned, you can use it like a Jamboard, but Jamboards are limited to 20 boards. Google Slides is infinite. So if you do need whiteboards for every student in your class, why not stick to Google Slides? Another idea, you can create review slides for small groups, or conversely, you can have the small groups create them for each other and work in breakout rooms to support one another with that learning. You can do something like my favorite no. So if you've used it as a whiteboard, you can kind of show, hey, here's a common error. Let's talk about this as a class so that we can better understand why we should do something another way. And lastly, I just came across Alice Keeler's board game template, which is a pretty cute little thing. So she shared this game board. Again, if you're having students do a review game or something like that, you might have questions on another sheet of paper, or you can put them into this particular game if you wanted. Um, there's some avatars there. You can have students add their own avatars, maybe answer a review question, and then if they answer correctly, they get to click on this dice up here. I'm gonna roll the die and I roll the three. Since I got the question correct, I get to move one, two, three places. So it's just kind of a fun little thing. Um, you could have students in teams, however you'd want to do that. So those are just a few ideas about using the full screen interactive um, extension. 
If you have any other ideas, let me know. Or if you have other suggestions for videos, also let me know. All right. Thanks so much for watching.